I can't, I can't do this. Over a series of screenings, three young adults will be competing for points. The cult films chosen will be some of the craziest, most challenging, and controversial films ever made. This is Surprise Movies. And welcome back to Surprise Movies. Today is a very special day because today is our first double feature. We're going to start with points. You guys excited for some points? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Who do we start with? Eeny, meeny, miny. Ashley. Ashley. Okay. You had 11 points last game. For watching All of House, you get one point. For making an accurate prediction, you get one point. Which brings you a grand total up to 13 points. Congratulations, Ashley. Thank you. Adam. Adam, my friend. You had 11 points as well. And this is like, this is an opportunity for you to take the lead because Ashley was covering her eyes, even though it wasn't a horror movie. <laughs> it was a horror movie, but it wasn't scary. Adam, you get one point for having your film house chosen. You get. <laughs> One point for making an accurate prediction. Yeah. You get one point for not covering your eyes, looking away, or falling asleep. And you get one point for watching House. That brings your total up to 15 points. Giving you the lead, Adam. Like, get excited. You're in the lead. All right. All right. Elizabeth, <laughs> think it has to take to pull ahead from Adam? I don't think that I did, but I think that in this round, I'm going to beat everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the big game you're talking there. No, I just, I really feel like my movie watching skills have improved because I've just been at home for like literally a month watching movies. So, been practicing <laughs> watching movies. I'm basically a professional movie watcher at this point. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. You had 11 points okay. starting out last game. You get one point for making an accurate prediction. You get one point for watching all of House. And you get one point for not looking away, covering your eyes, or falling asleep. That brings your grand point total up to 14. I'm coming after you, Adam. Episode 5. <laughs> so the claws come out. For our selection this time, we're going to look back at some of the movies in previous episodes that didn't get picked. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Adam, your films that didn't get picked were Old Boy and Irreversible. Choose one. You have 15 seconds. Uh, old Boy. Not Irreversible. <laughs> old Boy. Not Irreversible. Old Boy. <laughs> Ashley. Ashley, you ready for this? I think so. Your movies that weren't chosen were Seven, Elephant, and Persona. 15 seconds to pick. Um, uh, <laughs> Elephant. <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> your films that weren't chosen were Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer, Possession, and Requiem for a Dream. You have 15 <laughs> seconds. Choose one. Possession. <laughs> Possession? Okay, well, do you want me to... Henry, okay, Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer, or Requiem for a Dream? All right. Well, you guys are thinking about which films you want to choose from your discard pile. We're going to start talking about the next set of movies you're choosing. This is a double feature, after all. Because you can't reach the hat from where you're sitting, we've chosen a film for each of you. So, I'm going to start with you, Adam, since you're winning. Adam. Your film is Caché. It's a 2005 film. It's a co-pro between Austria, Germany, France, and Italy. Ashley, your film is Repulsion. It's a UK film from 1965. Elizabeth, your film is Natural Born Killers. USA. 1994. All right, now you know which titles you're playing with for the second film. You have less than five minutes to choose the first one. Go. 
Okay. Um, I I think that we should give Elephant another chance because that was during the whole high tension issue, and that one we really messed messed up on. Was it old boy was as well, wasn't it? Yeah, they were both. Yeah, they both. Yeah, they're both part of episode three, and um, old boy is like the one that was was like the 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 critical classic or something like that and yeah. i'm fine to watch elephant though like yeah <laughs> elephant seems like it'll be a bit of a weird one but that's that's okay i just i feel bad because i was so mean to elephant before <laughs> we, I were, you all we, were, it. we were so mean to elephant <laughs> i think like elephant it might be a lot of like meat to it but I don't think it's gonna be like really graphic. Whereas Old Boy, I feel like Old Boy has something to do like the clip we saw, like had like like the clocks and the time, like maybe like lost time. I don't know. Like it could be kind of like on the long lines of Kill Bill or something. Like mm -hmm. being <laughs> I don't know. I mean, which I'm looking for. <laughs> but it, that's also kind of a brutal movie to watch. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm in for Elephant. I feel like Elephant will be a, will be definitely an interesting one to look back on. So I, yeah. I'll vote for Elephant. Elephant? Yeah. All right. You guys chose Elephant, which was a 2003 film from the United yeah. States as your first pick. We're going to choose your second movie now. And just to make things interesting, it can't be from the same decade or country as the first. <laughs> oh! Oh, so I guess Adam's film, <laughs> not from the US. Adam, your film cachet is 2005, Austria, Germany, France, Italy. Ashley, Repulsion is 1965 from the UK. And Elizabeth, Natural Born Killers, 1994, USA. You have less than five minutes to choose. So we have so to choose Ashley. There's only one choice, it's Repulsion, right? Because it's the only one not from the same- Natural Born Killer, because like- From the same decade and from country. <laughs> We have no choice. It has to be repulsion. I'm so repulsed. <laughs> oh no! What have we done? Well, what do you think Elephant's gonna be about? I think I try to like with the titles. I try to think of like why why they titled it Elephant, and my first thought is like Elephant in the Room or something like that. I think that there's gonna be a lot of teenage girls crying. I think there might be some teenage sex. I think there's gonna be like some fighting, like <laughs> gang or beating. I think there's gonna be something. a conflict and possibly a resolution. Um, I think there might be a character named John in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is really a really slice of life. Talking about walking down the street, being gay, you know, what do you think about that? How can you tell? Walking down the street and being gay? Good question. Yeah. See, that's the thing. I don't think you can. Yeah. You going to college tonight? No, I can't. My parents are being bitches this week. Oh, that's retarded. Yeah. Bitches. All right. See ya. <laughs> oh, high school. This is like high school musical, guys. I'm so proud that I predicted someone named John would be in this show. Boomer.
electrons jump from one orbital to like another one, what what does that do? I mean, what's the difference between the orbitals? Well, the orbitals differ in energy. The orbitals which are in space around the nucleus, the ones that are closer to the nucleus are the low energy, and the ones that are further away are higher energy. So when we put energy into the, uh, the atom, it kicks these electrons out further away from the nucleus and produces a higher, yes? After you put the electricity into the tube full of the electrons, like, oh my they God. stay lit up or... Oh my right God. Energy? Good question. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know if I can do this anymore. <laughs> I just really want to hold on to you two so badly. I know. Here comes. It's so tense now. Oh, I don't like it anymore. Oh I already. I. I can't. I can't do this. I. Oh, I can't. Oh my god. Oh my god. Michelle. Oh no! <laughs> Not another one. Is that John? Oh my what is it? Dog. Oh, so I didn't know we had a dog. Why would even oh see a dog? I what? You really like, found it. Like, We're caught up. I don't like it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is like the same level as high tension, honestly. Okay, it's not the same. <laughs> 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 Michelle, you're going to be so It's been three days since we watched Elephant. Usually we do our discussion right afterwards, but the movie was just, it was too much to handle like while we were watching it. Even afterwards, I don't think we were really able to gather all of our thoughts and, and everything about the movie. And it really deserves like a, a proper discussion. So we took some time with it and we've come back now three days later. A slice of life. Uh, very realistic, and it focuses on a group of high schoolers on one day in their high school. And I don't want to get into any more because it is going to be spoilers. It's a short movie. You find out what the incident is pretty early on. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Watching it blind is a very um, intense effect. But if you are going to watch it, it's best to not know anything about it similar to how the people in the movie are also living unaware. Yeah, it's quite a shocking film. I don't know if controversial is the right word, but thought-provoking, reactionary. And I think it's one of the most grounded movies we've watched as well. We've watched a lot of fantasy movies, a lot of movies that are so out there and not necessarily realistic at times. So watching this, um, it was like, being in a whole other mindset. It was real. It was, I think, borderline documentary reality. It's a movie that wasn't supposed to age well, but it did. I think personally, it's the most relevant movie we've watched so far. It's, it's a movie that's supposed to be a time capsule. It's supposed to show a moment in time and it wasn't supposed to be something that, you know, 20 years later, people who grew up in the world of this movie, essentially, and only know the world of this movie, you know, find so incredibly shocking and moving to the point where, like, you know, it makes us, like, literally, like, you know, feel like vomiting. I know for me, I, like, didn't feel as tense while I was watching it, but as soon as I went outside, I felt just so much more aware of my surroundings. Yeah, my my chest has felt so tight after watching the movie. Um, difficult to breathe a little bit, just an anxiety. I'm just like not sure what's gonna happen. Um, just because you were thrown in a situation, again, that's so realistic and just so truthful. So usually after the movies, we will like drink wine, but this one, after watching this, it felt wrong to drink. It felt like it was, it felt like it was disgraceful to the... I See, I almost called it a movie, but I 
I don't think this really should be called a movie because it is just it's like art or life. Like a movie is a movie is entertainment and you go see it at the theaters or you watch it on Netflix. And this is just like so much more than that. The fact that it elicited a reaction in me that made me want like I was like sat over my toilet and dry heaved was like like this is so much more than a movie. Just how blunt and straightforward it was and there was no milking of anything um nothing looked fake again it just felt like we were there and and on top of that too the the movie's about people and mm-hmm. it's it's not about characters and the mm-hmm. the people were being played in essence not by actors but it was just like that was them mm-hmm like they used their own first names and everything. You just watched real people live real lives and have real moments. I feel like this is how art should make me feel. You know? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> like um, we are so used to that, like entertainment and going to the movies and, you know, watching funny stuff and a lot of CGI. But with this being so real, like this is what art and movies and paintings and everything like are meant to do at the end of the day. Yeah, even like our favorite movies wouldn't come anywhere near to what this sort of experience is. Like it's just something in its own world. This movie, I don't think people should watch. I do not believe that people should watch this movie. That doesn't mean that I don't think the movie should have been made. I think this movie needed to be made and I think it needed to be made the way it was. I think that it is incredible. I will probably watch it again in like a week, but I think that it's so traumatic and intense that I don't think people should watch it. While I don't think people should watch the movie, I think they need to talk about it. It's a movie that I would recommend, but the problem is I don't know who I would recommend it to. I think I'd recommend it to people who really enjoy films, who love studying films and the beauty of films. I would, I would recommend it, but as you're talking, Ashley, I'm like, yeah, who would I recommend it to? I think what, how I feel about it is that I'm glad that it was made when it was made and that I was able to watch it because for all of us, we just kind of, this has been our normal. And to understand and realize that it wasn't always exactly this way, I think was really eye-opening for me. I think, yeah, take, like, take the risk and watch it if you want to know more, if you want to like feel more empathy, um, just like understand the world in a different way and understand like the world that our parents knew and our grandparents knew and just how things have changed. I think it can make us like just better, more well-rounded people. So mm-hmm. That's so true. So true. It shows off a world that we don't know. But yeah, I don't think I'd be throwing this movie carelessly around. Like I would need to give it to people I'm close with and people I trust and that I know will... Um, really take something away from this don't go into this movie expecting entertainment because it will like it you will come out absolutely traumatized because mm-hmm. uh, like oh well that's at least that's what happened to me yeah i thought that it's going to be just like mm-hmm. some slice of life movie and, and yeah, while it is it, it's so much more this movie has affected me in ways i didn't think i could be affected by a movie mm-hmm. and i'm going to watch it again i just think that it's it like you guys said who do you recommend it to i can't just i don't think that there's anyone i can tell to watch this movie so i that's why i don't recommend it it's a movie that should be that should be handled with care and just that you should be really gentle about well yeah exactly take the poster of the movie it's that mm-hmm. that girl giving a very tender and you know gentle kiss on the cheek to a boy that is exactly how you should treat the movie i'm glad i watched this at home yeah. <laughs> so that i could break down as a human and collapse in my own home mm-hmm. <laughs> and not not in the studio i could not imagine watching this in the studio oh god yeah that would <laughs> that would have been a horrible night <laughs>